NASCAR has an EV coming, but don't freak out yet. So during last offseason, before the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series season, there was a lot of talk that NASCAR is going to be showing off the NASCAR EV Series in an exhibition-style format with potentially, you know, two 30-minute races at select events in 2023. Obviously, that ended up not happening because they needed to focus on improving the safety of the Gen 7 Cup car, and the extra costs that went along with it didn't really fit into the budget at that time, so that project was kind of shelved. Now, as we head off into the next offseason after the 2023 season now, the topic of the NASCAR EV Series has once again come up and once again it definitely seems like there is a working model out there. There is actually a working model because Road and Track has reportedly seen a photo of what the NASCAR EV looks like and it's not based on what we see right now from the Gen 7 Cup car. Sure, it's based on the Gen 7 Cup car chassis, but according to them, it is using a crossover body, a generic crossover body, which makes a lot of sense, right? As more car companies continue to push crossovers and more of them continue to axe away all of their sedans, the movement towards the crossover makes a lot of sense. And now JL Jr. famously said that he will not have a race shop full of SUVs and crossovers. He didn't exactly mention about an EV series, though. However, Road and Track says that they don't expect this series to ever like happen. It not, there's no anticipation that this will become a race series, but NASCAR has reportedly built this. And it makes sense that they are using a crossover. And the crossover that they are using it apparently looks like this illustration right here from Road and Track, which looks eerily similar to the Chevy Blazer EV. And again, makes sense because if Chevy's promoting their Blazer EV, having it become a marketing platform if NASCAR wants to show off an EV series, eh, you connect the dots there, everything kind of lines up. Toyota, on the other hand, has the BZ4X, which sounds like a Star Wars character, but it is actually a crossover. I think that they co-developed with Subaru. And then Ford, of course, has the Mustang Mach-E, which I know is sacrilegious to traditional Mustang owners, but it is a pretty good looking car. Other than that dumb dial that they have right in the middle of the big infotainment screen on the front, absolutely hate that design. But overall, really cool car. And if you've driven one, you understand that like the performance of it is cool. So there's a lot of things to unpack right here. And I will say this, if NASCAR does move forward with this EV platform, they have said that they reportedly want this EV to match what the NASCAR Cup Series card currently does in terms of lap time. With the added weight from all the batteries, you're looking at having over a thousand horsepower. We all talk about wanting more horsepower, we're getting it, just not the way we necessarily wanted it to. So what exactly is the point of this? If NASCAR doesn't exactly have any plans to race this, there's no uh, exhibition series coming up for 2024, why would they have this? Well, according to Road and Track, they've already built out this car, this generic crossover body on an EV platform, which is using the Gen 7 chassis, which has been modified to fit all the electric components and everything that goes along with that. Uh, why are they doing it? To show off what the possibility is, right? They've apparently already tested it at ZMAX Dragway in Charlotte, and there's reportedly a test in Martinsville coming up in January. We we'll absolutely will not have to worry about it overheating there because it's going to be substantially cold at Martinsville in January. If it's already cold there in April or March or whenever we roll in there, and in October, January, not going to be the warmest time to do this test. feel bad for everybody that has to go out there for that. But I think they're really building it and really showing it off to be like, this is what we can do. And of course, Steve Phelps is headed off to Japan uh, later in this offseason or in a couple of weeks to talk about hydrogen powered racing. And NASCAR is just keeping their avenues open. So before everybody freaks out, the V8 is not going away. NASCAR is going to continue to have the V8 in the cup car. The only thing that we're really possibly going to see happen in the cup series in terms of different types of power unit and power supply would be the addition of a hybrid platform sometime in the relatively near future. NASCAR said that that was part of their plans when they introduced the new Gen 7 platform was to eventually have a hybrid component on this car. And personally, I don't think that's a bad thing, right? It's going to increase horsepower. It's going to make things a little bit better. And if it sounds like the Cadillac DPI when it switches from electric power in the pits to its naturally aspirated V8, I'm here for it. Hearing 36 of these cars pull off pit road and all... You know, sound like the gates of hell have just opened up. Totally fine with that. 
So everybody's going to freak out initially, right? We don't want an EV series. We don't want this. We don't want that. NASCAR understands that. And I think all you have to do is look at what Formula E has not been able to do, which is capture a market share and find a television partner in basically any country that wants to show their series because there's just not that big of a following. I think you can watch it in America on CBS Sports Network streaming platform. And then every now and then you can catch the tape delayed version on CBS Sports Network, which uh, you get probably, but you don't know it. In England, they're not even sure. I, I think the last time I checked, the only place you can watch it is to stream it behind a paywall. And nobody's specifically paying for that. Now, Formula E does a great job on social and putting out clips and everything that goes along with it. But it certainly does not have the market share that a NASCAR or IndyCar, Formula One, even British Touring Car has in England. It is a very, 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 very far down the list series in terms of what people are tuning in to watch. Granted, it is an FIA sanctioned world championship. But so is World Supercross and not a single person is looking at that FIM rather, not FIA. Let me clarify that before somebody comes at me in the comments. Having said everything right there, NASCAR understands that switching over to an EV series would be very detrimental to what they've built and to their entire business, so that's not happening. But at the same time, if their OEMs are like, what's the possibility with this? NASCAR wants to keep their OEMs happy, right? And after all, reducing to 550 and 670 horsepower hasn't attracted any new manufacturers. Maybe an EV series will. So NASCAR has this EV. They have it, they're going to test it, they're going to probably show it off early in 2024 at some point. We might even see it do an exhibition run at the Clash or somewhere else during the season. But this series isn't going to come to fruition. NASCAR fan base isn't ready to make that switch over to EVs yet. I mean, we're still looking at 75% to 85% of the viewing audience each week is over the age of 50. And most of the people in that demographic have not been very quick to make that transition to renewable energy when it comes to vehicles. So making that switch now might not be the best thing. Can a NASCAR EV series coexist in the realm of NASCAR? It absolutely can. As long as NASCAR doesn't make the Cup Series switch over to EV, doesn't make the Xfinity Series switch to EV, the Truck Series, uh, personally I wouldn't like it, but you can do whatever you want, people aren't going to freak out. If they have it run at select races throughout the year, people will tune in, especially if you put your star drivers in. If Chase Elliott's driving an EV, guess what? People are going to watch. Kyle Larson's driving it, people are tuning in to watch what's happening. But it's never going to replace the Cup Series. And again, NASCAR understands that. They might not make the best decision sometimes, but there's enough smart people in that boardroom to be like, eh, maybe hold off on this for a minute here. So we're still looking at a EV that has over a thousand horsepower. Pretty cool. We've, of course, seen Ford show off their EV with the Ford Mustang Mach-E, I believe, which hit like 1,440 horsepower, somewhere along there. Pretty sick. NASCAR absolutely can do that. They can absolutely show off a vehicle that, you know, has that much power, can run competitive lap times with a cup car. Granted, that weight distribution is going to be different. Obviously, those batteries are going to sit as low as they can in the car. Bring that center of gravity down, make a corner better would be absolutely incredible to be able to put those batteries where you wanted to for the corners, uh, but we'll see what happens with it. So before anybody freaks out, this is not going to take the place of the NASCAR Cup Series, not gonna take the place of the Xfinity Series either. They're not even far enough down the road to even consider that yet, but what they are going to do is likely show off this EV. So I'm here to help prepare everybody for what's going to come, which is just an exhibition, just a, hey, look what's possible with technology. And EV technology is very cool. Do I think it's cooler than a V8? Absolutely not. V8s, after all, are pretty rudimentary, right? And I think this is, plays into what NASCAR is trying to do, which is make themselves seem more forward-thinking than what the general perception is. A lot of people think about NASCAR and they're like, oh, it's dumb technology, stuck in the Flintstones era. And after all, V8s are rudimentary, right? It's just air, spark, fuel, power! So after all, it is not a crazy concept. They're just showing something off with what they're able to do. And we're gonna see it maybe way down the road at some point. Likely we'll never see it actually race as an exhibition series. I think renewable fuel, uh, biofuel is the future for NASCAR along with a hybrid system as well. So don't freak out, everybody calm down, but they are going to show this off. And when they do, just accept how cool the technology is and understand that it's not going to replace the Cup Series.
And I think if everybody can do that, we're all going to be fine. But I'm worried about you. So follow me on TikTok. Like and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard. Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.